In this problem, we have to simplify this expression. So these bars denote something called the modulus. So if you have the modulus of a plus bi, this is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. So our goal is going to be to uh, write this in a way that will let us use this formula. So we'll start by trying to subtract these. Uh, in other words, we'll find a common denominator. So this is equal to, so you have one over one plus three i, and the common denominator is going to be one plus three i times one minus three i. So we're missing a one minus three i here. So let's go ahead and put it there like this. So we'll multiply by one minus three i over one minus three i, just a clever way to get what we want, minus one over one minus three i. This is times one plus three i over one plus three i. All right, so now we can multiply across in the numerator. So we have one times one minus three i, that's one minus three i over, now, whenever you have um, a complex number times its conjugate like this, so if you have a plus bi times a minus bi, uh, this is actually equal to a squared plus b squared. The i's go away. You can show this. It's pretty easy to verify that. So here our a is 1 and our b is 3. So this will be 1 squared plus 3 squared. And then same thing here, one times one plus three i, so minus one plus three i over, and then same thing, one, uh, a squared plus b squared, so one squared plus three squared. Boom, there it is. All right, so this is equal to, uh, this is the modulus of one minus three i. This is one plus nine, so it's 10, so 10, minus, and then one plus three i over, again, one plus nine, so it's 10. And now we can uh, perform the subtraction. So this is equal to the modulus of, so all be over 10. So it's one minus three i, and then minus, and then parentheses, one plus three i. Okay, just like that. So this is equal to the modulus of one minus three i, distribute the negative one. So this is negative one minus three i. By the way, the parentheses are necessary, right? That was something that um, is absolutely key because this is already in parentheses, so, and so is this. So you gotta be careful uh, with this step here. These go away, so you get the modulus of negative six i over 10 which is the modulus of, let's write it like this, negative three-fifths i. Let's write it like that. Oh, no, not three-fifths, uh, two-fifths. Two-fifths, right, because um, two goes into six. Uh, no, three-fifths, three-fifths, yeah, three-fifths i. Brain malfunction. <laughs> so, all right, the formula for the modulus is this one, a plus bi, and this is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. So here, what we'll do is we'll write it like this, just to really make it clear, zero plus negative three-fifths i, just to really want you to see how it fits together so you really understand it. And now this is equal to the square root of zero squared plus negative three-fifths squared. And so this is equal to the square root of um, nine over 25, right? You squared three, you squared the five. And so that's going to give us uh, square root of nine is three, square root of 25 is five. And that would be the final answer, right? Really easy to mess up in a problem like this. I mean, I, I think I made a mistake and I fixed it. So um, very, very easy to mess up, uh, but not too bad. Good luck.